Alrighty, we're gonna do some area mazes today. And these are actually um, originally from this book. And here's the cover of the book. Um, it's made by uh, a Japanese puzzle master whose name is Naoki Inaba in Ryoichi Murakami. And they made these for some of their students, I think. But they're um, some famous puzzle makers in these are just a fun way to practice some math and try to figure out some puzzles. So let's look at some of these puzzles here. And the puzzles go from one star to five stars. I'm just going to show you some of the one stars today, and maybe we'll look at some other ones later, um, and then do some of them on your own after this. But um, here is your first puzzle. And can you figure out the area of this rectangle here? And I'm actually not going to do this one. I'm going to do one just like it to show you how it works. Because I want you to do this one on your own. So here, I made one just like it with different numbers to see how it works. So the first thing we can do is figure out the width here. And these are not drawn to scale. Actually, this is out of scale. But I know if this is 7 inches, this one has to be... If this is 35, 5 inches, because 35 divided by 7 is 5, even though I drew it incorrectly. That has to be 5 inches. And if that's 5 inches, <clears throat> then this down here is the same length, right? That's 5 inches, that's 5 inches too. And I'm going to keep a record of how I figured that out, like that. Now, let's take a look at this <clears throat> over here. If... This is 24 square inches, and this is 6 inches. Over here, it's going to have to be 24 divided by 6. And hopefully you know that that is 4. <clears throat> so this has to be 4 inches. And again, just like before, if this is 4 inches, this is the same size, so this is also 4 inches. And now, I have the information I need to figure this out. So 4 times 5 is going to be 20 square inches. And that's my answer. Okay, so then if you look at the one uh, up here, you can kind of follow the same pattern. So start 42 divided by 6 and figure out what this is. And then that's going to be down here. Then you can do the same thing, same pattern to figure out what that is. Now let's look at another one, okay? And this is another one, and I'll do another one again, just like it as an example. So we've got <clears throat> um, this whole rectangle is where we can start because we already have the dimensions for the whole rectangle. So we're gonna start with that before we figure out the smaller part. And it's simply four times 10. So like that, I've got the entire rectangle is 40 inches squared. And now all I need to do next is I need to, to figure out this area. We can just subtract this area or get rid of that area. And that will tell me what this is. So the second step is going to be the whole thing, 40. And then I subtract that. And then I have the answer already. So again, <clears throat> for this one, you can follow the same process. The first thing you can do is find the whole area and then subtract this part, and that will tell you what this is. OK. Here I'll work with the real puzzle, but I'll just get you started. And you can do the rest on your own. So puzzle three. This one's just going to be just step by step until we can find out how long this is here. So first, I know this has to be 6, yeah? Because 36 divided by 6 is 6. And if that's 6, then this is 6 over here as well. So next, we have 48 divided by 6 to figure out this, this size. And that's going to be 8. <clears throat> and now we can, if this is 8, this also has to be 8 down here. And now 
next we figure out this and then we figure out this and this and this is like just step by step to figure out what this one is and one more just to get you started um, we have puzzle four and now this is very similar to the last one um, we are going to go and figure out if this is six here this is the same size so that has to be six and now we know that 42 divided by 6 is 7 so that's 7 <coughs> which means this is 7 down here and then can you figure out this which will be the same as this and then you figure out this and then you should be able to multiply those to get how many inches squared there is so those are again some area mazes and um, I'm gonna give these to my class to work on some, but I recommend if you wanna try some of these, uh, you can get the book on amazon.com. On Kindle, it's just like three bucks. It's a really good way to challenge your thinking. These are one stars. So two stars are gonna be harder. It goes all the way up to five stars, which are really challenging. So I'll link to some other videos to do um, some two star or three star practice later, but um, just really fun way to practice your math facts and your thinking skills. So thank you.